Well, it's safe to say there is nothing sweet about this pastry ordeal. School officials suspend a seven-year-old boy in Baltimore after he reportedly chewed his breakfast treat into the shape of a gun. Tonight, officials in one Wiregrass town, they don't need to call Ghostbusters. No, no. They need to call the Batbusters. Are you logged into Facebook right now? Uh, guilty. Why so many people that are taking a break from the social media site when we come back? If it seems like everybody you know is on Facebook, well, you're probably right. I know a lot of people are frustrated because it seems like there are so many questions and we don't have many answers. We're waiting on information from police. The last time they talked to us was around 1.30 today. If you think your drive to work is bad, well, you're probably about to feel a lot better. And no matter where you went with your sweetheart tonight, mm -hmm. I hope you were bundled up. Absolutely, you're so. Or maybe just. That. Cuddled up Cuddled to your up. sweetheart get, get a little your, closer. Uh, Those heavy downpours that started yesterday and then continued throughout today caused significant flooding around Houston County. Well, the presidential election is over, but that does not mean that everybody is happy with the outcome. In fact, one local woman is so unhappy, she may have taken things a little too far. There are a lot of questions throughout this entire ordeal, a lot of them about a little boy named Ethan. We can answer one of those questions tonight. Is he okay? Ethan is okay, and he's with his mama. This was seven days of just hearing from police that, that they believed Ethan was safe and, and knowing he was in this bunker. How did you all get through that? I mean, every day it had to be just a new you wake up and realize that this is really going on. A new study shows significant weaknesses in the U.S. election system and Alabama system is in the bottom bracket. Folks in Walton County could possibly have a new neighbor. Yeah, but you might not want to bother him. You probably should leave him alone because some people believe he is the one and only Bigfoot. <laughs> there is credible evidence that Sasquatch has been seen in a heavily wooded area of Eglin Air Force Base. But this Blackbirds. is not the first time that people have searched no. for or, him down or here. Supposedly or supposedly there's a sighting in this, in this area. Geneva County a few years ago. Yeah, that, that's what I was reading. If you take a picture that he's wearing, <laughs> wearing a watch, it's not big. It's not him. It's not big, but no, if you no, see a watch. No, no. Yeah. Why does he got a gift? The Coffee County Commission's latest purchase is, well, it's causing a bit of a stink. The reality is there are so many families that's the last thing on their mind. They're just worried about having a Thanksgiving meal for their children. And the only way that you can make sure that those kids and these families have the memories and the wonderful traditions that maybe you're enjoying and possibly even taking for granted this time of year is to donate. Well, you're good at, you're good at this. I'm Thanks. Up. That works. That oh, works. Thank right. you, Rich. That's News 4 at 5. Thanks for being here. We'll see you at 6. <laughs> Did you just say kind of? 1940. That's a good guess. You're a good guesser. I am. You are a really, really good guesser. You didn't, go, I got with, you didn't go with C then. No. Okay. No, I didn't. No. Huh? But I actually went through a Nor'easter. Did you say that's how you got through college? Yeah, I was kidding. No, I actually said it. <laughs> but in college, I, there was a Nor'easter in Syracuse mm -hmm. on Valentine's Day really? one year. Yeah, okay, we were yeah. all stuck, you know, in the apartment. Nasty, nasty stuff. Oh, yeah. It's I didn't not know fun. you were in college in 1940. I look good for my age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That cream works at night. Holding up well. It's the yeah. blush. Thank you. Good news for those in the unemployment line. Home Depot is hiring, and they're hiring pretty big. President Barack Obama is getting ready for his annual State of the Union address tonight. The economy is going to be the focus of his speech, but he's also going to touch on several other issues, including gun violence. And this kind of mirrors what we've heard from an FBI spokesperson earlier today who has confirmed that they're bringing in police from all over the, the the county, the Wiregrass area, even the state to help relieve these police officers who have been working tirelessly for the past two days. A nation is heartbroken. Tonight, a shooter goes on a rampage in a Connecticut grade school, killing at least 27 people, mostly children. If children do have questions about what happened, parents are probably wondering how can they answer them and, and kind of ease their worries. How would you suggest doing that? Alabama Governor Robert Bentley says the state stands to lose 24,000 jobs if those automatic spending cuts kick in next month. Forbes is out with its 2013 list of the world's richest people. Me, you, and Nate pull our resources. There's At least 785 on the list. Thousand. Yeah. Probably. Do you think any of them need a pen pal? I'm just saying, maybe they're lonely. I, I'm always looking for new friends who have $73 billion. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll even settle for 70 billion. Sure, I'm not picky. Carlos. So did Nate convince you to get on the tornado yet? Well, sharing is something that many children really have to quickly learn when they start school. But one kindergartner at Cloverdale Elementary, well, she could actually teach a lesson on it.
Bethany Anderson introduces us to a little girl who made a very big gesture today. All this rain has been taking a toll on area roads. Parts of seven roads just in Houston County are now closed until further notice. Here's a look at that list right now. Today is a day to honor the achievements of women past and present. It's International Women's Day. And Nate, you can leave my gift on my desk. Just letting you know. These two local boys decided that they would have prayer vigils every evening at 6 o'clock until this little boy came home. And I'm happy to say that they don't have to have that prayer vigil tonight because he is coming home ready. Do you have your calendar nearby? If so, you might want to go ahead and mark it because the 53rd annual Op Rattlesnake Rodeo, just three weeks away now. And today, News 4's Mike Gerspan went along for the hunt to capture the reptiles for the event. The president hit the road today to spread the word about what looming spending cuts are going to mean for workers. Now, as he presses his case with the public, Republicans are arguing he should be meeting with them. These cuts are just three days away now, and Danielle Nottingham explains there is no sign the two sides are even working on a deal. Ladies, the next time Uncle Sam comes calling, well, he's probably going to want you, too. At one point, she had nothing on the ground. Wow. That's nuts. Like, back holding the ball in That's the midair. Thanks, thanks for your call commentary on that. <laughs> play by play, that's, I, what we, that's yeah. what we give you guys. I can my enemy at the Civic Center maybe. Play. All right. I even talked to some neighbors today who say that they cannot believe how quick the response time was on Tuesday when this all started going down. Congress returned to work today with no plans to reverse the $85 billion in automatic government spending cuts that kicked in three days ago. All those people are turning to a shelter tonight. Have you ever maybe thought about having a storm shelter of your own? All those appearing on stage to keep all their private parts covered. I mean, Please. really, is that too much to ask? Please. And it even banned bare skinned sides. I think, I think Obscenities I on clothing are also a no no. <laughs> By the way, to see if anybody doesn't listen <laughs> to that memo, the Grammy Awards will air on CBS this Sunday at 8 p.m. So, Kim, you need to go rethink your wardrobe. Uh, as, as per usual. We have now shown you the life of a negotiator. We have talked to people from the community. You've seen all of the media trucks out here. But there are so many other people besides the media, the police, who are trying to help bring this to a peaceful close. And those are some volunteers. Her very popular teacher and 30-year veteran was going through students' backpacks. What's, the, mor in. What's yeah. the moral of the story? Don't steal Hide money. in a locker. Oh, don't make them run suicide. Don't yeah. put money in your backpack. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's our time for now. All good Thank advice. you for yours. A lot of fun snacks. Good night, everyone. We I'm all had different morals. No more. <laughs>